We used to cope with storms. We built coastal walls of stone, planted mangroves, and constructed houses on higher stilts. But these efforts had their limits. Now cyclones hit the Solomon Islands every season, powerful enough to cripple our economy overnight. With rising sea levels, our islands are sinking, some completely submerged, and with them, fundamental parts of our history, identity, and culture, trapped underwater, gone forever. Climate change is often called the biggest injustice of our generation. The least developed countries like ours have emitted the tiniest fraction of the planet warming gases that drive climate change. Yet, we are five times more likely to lose our lives from climate-related disasters. Salt from the encroaching waves poisons our fresh water and forces people to travel great distances to find water for drinking and cooking. Our coral reefs, home to thousands of marine species, are dying, and with them, the protein that sustains us. The losses we are experiencing from climate change are irreplaceable. This damage is irreparable. As our water and land disappears, whole communities are forced to relocate. Some forced to squat illegally, exacerbating tensions between ethnic groups, which makes us afraid we will revisit the violent conflicts of the past that labeled our country a failing state. We are worried about our country's future. Recognizing our deep and personal losses, governments must prioritize the climate crisis and agree a clear plan to address loss and damage that provides desperately needed support through finance and technology. We must avert conflict and safeguard humanity. We cannot let climate change cause more states to fail. We must act now.